All right, new tutorial today. Uh, my friends asked me to uh, make a tutorial on how to make uh, how to make edits with uh, 30 FPS clips, cause their clients be fucking doing some bullshit, fucking share factories, <laughs> share factory and shit. So we're gonna be uh, doing this real quick. Let me see. So put in your song and shit. You know, I don't know. Ignore this picture. I don't know what the fuck it's like that. I'm gonna just add a solid real quick. So it's just not there. Anyway, so yeah, ignore that. Uh, this is supposed to look like this for you. I suggest putting this to fit up to 100. You know, I'll just should put it on third. The composition settings. I put that. I normally. It depends on what song you're using. Fast pace. I recommend putting it on 30 for trap type songs and 24 for like slightly edgy type shit 20 for even even edgier and then 15 for extreme edginess if you know what i mean but i'm gonna just keep it on 20 because this song is pretty edgy kind of okay so now i'm gonna put all the markers on here if you don't know how to do that just check out my other tutorial so yeah, uh, I'm probably gonna put a link to that shit in the description. So yeah, yeah. All right, Let's do this shit. Alright, so now I'm back and I uh, already added all the markers. We're just gonna add in the clips real quick and add some time remapping so y'all can know how to sync the 30 FPS clips. It also works on 60 FPS. I'm just gonna use 60 FPS, but like it works on 30 FPS too, so don't worry about it. Just don't stretch it. Let me see. Let me find my clips. Fuck it, I'm gonna just use these shits. Uh, I'm just gonna use like one I'm gonna use one clip as an example so now that we got the the song here I'm gonna play it for y'all real quick let me just uh turn this down a bit cuz it's pretty loud and uh okay look I grew up for fucking screw up. Got introduced to the game, got an ounce to fucking blow up. Alright, basically that's the part we're using. So now what you wanna do is get the clip and uh uh control alt T to get time remap. Find the point on which you want the, the shit to be there. Wait a sec. I grew up for fucking Wait a minute. Why is this shit not here? Oh yeah, cause the black solid. This shit goes on the bottom. Anyways, yeah. So, now I got the clip here and I wanna see where the fuck I'm gonna put the sync point where like he, where he dunks and shit. Somewhere reasonable. Nothing too far or too close to the beginning. Unless you want it to be like I want it to be right here. So, I'm gonna drag this all the way until he makes it so he made it right there I'm gonna add a keyframe I'm gonna add a keyframe on the first on the first uh, marker and you see it's 905 you're gonna turn the 9 to a 7 instead so like you're gonna subtract this uh, this one by 2 so basically like 2 seconds behind so 905 705 now or like if if it's really if it's really ass like it's 27 fps or some shit like that put it down more i'm just gonna keep it at seven for now so now i'm gonna control d to split the the clip and uh i'm gonna so the end like the marker after he makes it you want to put it up like 30 30 milliseconds so bring this up a little bit only a little bit and then you just cut this part all right so now you just 
add all the keyframes on the remaining markers select all of them F9 graph editor and now you got the graph editor here my uh, the flaw I'm gonna be using is pretty straightforward it's not some fucking sharp ass shit like this it's gonna be like this this is for 30 fps clips or 60 fps if you like this flow anyways so I'm gonna be doing this not too much wait a sec I messed up right here like I said if it's not if it's still looking choppy bring it back way more than just two seconds I don't know why the hell I moved that one that one's uh, not important I might as well just delete this shit all right let me see yeah these uh random ones so yeah so it should look like this and now if I play this I'm gonna preview it all right so I missed a keyframe here but it still looks good either way let me try this let me see put a keyframe here just uh, bring this down a little bit bring this up a little bit make it smooth all right so that's that's it right there that's how you sync the 30 fps clips this was the shortest tutorial i've ever done but it's whatever it's for y'all uh people that want to do client edits and shit but your client is uh very broke and doesn't want to buy an elgato or you just want to use a uh, 30 fps clips in general like your own and shit and you're broke but yeah that's all i'm probably gonna <laughs> probably gonna add like some shaking shit and fucking make it into a little ass edit real quick i'm gonna put that shit at the end so yeah peace out niggas okay so never mind that i'm gonna also make a, a cc tutorial because someone asked for it and shit in my dms the other day they were like hey finesser can you make a cc tutorial i'm like hell yeah man i got you but i never did it so i'm gonna do it right now so now i'm just gonna um i'm gonna add some shake real quick so let me just do this how to be a 2k editor <laughs> add saber <laughs> okay so i added the shakes in here and you're probably wondering F uh, finesse why does this look so fucking weird it's because the two compositions aren't the same fps since i pre-composed this shit the normal one it's 20 but the pre -comp the pre-comp is actually 60 fps which is fucking retarded so i'm gonna put that shit on 20 and um so now it looks better now yeah that looks sexy you already know anyways all right ignore that shit again because i don't know how the fuck that shit keeps popping up shit some bullshit i'm gonna put it right here bro i can't fix that <laughs> Maybe I can put it up here, but like, but like, the screen. Oh, never mind. Shit's just useless. Anyways, so now that I have the shake here, let me add some fucking, I don't know, Twitch, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I added a twitch effect, so it looks like edgy as fuck right now. Um, shit. Okay, what the fuck else should I add? I'm gonna add some impact to the shot. So let me add some impact real quick. Okay, 
Okay, before the impact, I added a little warp. A little warp effect right here. So, this shit. Now, let's see how it's looking. It looks very nice. Very nice, indeed. So, let's add some... Let's add some impact. Alright, I added some impact now. I think the, the little one clip edit is finished. Alright, so that that's the edit. Now let's pre-comp this and add a CC and everything. And all the final shit. So, I'm gonna just cut this right here. This right here. Let me just, uh... Let me take... Only, I only want this part of the comp, so I'm just do this. Alright. So, now let me just select both of these shits. Pre-compose. Have this on, except for this, because I don't want it to open. I'm gonna name this shit edit. Now it's here. It's all together. Now we can add all the final shit. So I'm just gonna add an adjustment layer and then like fucking four other layers. The first one we're gonna add some some RSMB. I use Pro because the other one doesn't work for me for some reason. I always have an error. Let's add some BCC Unsharp mask on this one. <sighs> all right, on this one, uh. Fuck. <laughs> Let's add a CC. So, CC here. This one. Let's add a flicker. The fuck? I spell it wrong. Alright, flicker. What the fuck is this shit? Let's add a flicker. Let's turn this shit down a little bit to like four. And then the last one, let's add black bars. So motion tile. Yeah. Let's turn this shit to 85 for some black bars. So now let me rename all these shit so you know the order. First, I basically sharpen. CC, flicker, and black bars. It has to be in this order. Or you can switch these two around, but I keep it like this. So now for the CC, let's just make the edgiest CC that we can. Let's go into edit. It's gonna take two years, cause yeah. Oh wait, let me see something. Yeah, I recommend putting this shit on full before you go into edit. So let me just put it on a nice frame. This one's good. So now I'm gonna press edit. And now we can try to do some shit to this. So post. Let's add some curves. You know. Make it a bit darker. Because why not? IG edits are always dark as fuck. Maybe make this a bit lighter up here. Turn this down too. Now it's already looking edgy and you barely did anything to it. Honestly. Let's add some film grain. I'm gonna just leave that at default. Chromatic aberration, add a little bit, not too much, like fucking six. And now, maybe some diffusion. I like to keep my shit hard as hell though, if you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, so hue and saturation, maybe turn this down a bit or keep it high. It really, it's just preference. I'm gonna keep it high though. Because why not? I like colorful shit. And uh, I'm just... This is, the, this is the simple shit. So, now we're going to go into the main ingredient of the, the fucking edgy-ass CC. Everyone uses this for some reason. Leave color. And then you just take this. Fucking turn that bitch up. And now everything looks edgy as fuck, which is what you want. And now, you, my friend, have made an edgy edit with an edgy CC and edgy shake and VFX. But, like, and I didn't tell you anything about the VFX, I just told you the CC. So, yeah, this is the edit I'm gonna put at the end. I'm in right now. So, peace.
peace out my brothers Check it, I grew up a fucking screw up, got introduced to the...